Most films at the box office tend to either be a remake, a reboot, or yet another superhero film. And with a few huge names hitting the big screen in the coming months, I asked three young film buffs their opinions on the state of modern cinema. It can go a bit too far. Sometimes, like, at first, whatever superhero movie comes out, whatever it came out in the past, people were really excited for it. It didn't come out very often, and now it's started to become, like, the Western genres. Yeah. Mm. I know um, Kevin Feige said that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has movies lined up to 2028, when really it should just end in, like, 2020. As long as there are kids who want to see superhero films, there'll be superhero films. I've seen Cinderella. Yeah, I saw Cinderella. I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast yet. No. And I'm nervous about Lion King. I'm nervous about Mulan. Kind of having that problem with The Lion King as well. I, the Lion King has a very special place in my heart, and I'm just really, really worried that a live action remake is just going to ruin it. Disney trying to like keep it alive is a good thing, but going too far mm. is like going to ruin it. They've got so many different fingers in so many different pies that it's and so many artists working on so many different different ones it gets confusing and the cons inconsistencies are annoying i want to be an independent filmmaker but nowadays with corporations everything has to be a franchise and it annoys me because they know they, make, they can make a lot of money off of merchandise independent films and films that are vastly different from others are so rare now yeah it's just like you just get in the same four films but like broken up mm. like throughout the year. I think franchises killed creativity in my opinion.